Guys, just before this video starts, just want to, me and Albie just want to ask you a couple of things. And that is, if you do enjoy this video, remember to like the, like the video, give it a thumbs up, subscribe to the page, turn on notifications, put a comment of what you want to see next. And uh, yeah, thanks for the support. And whoever's watching out there, thank you guys. Enjoy. Um, guys, just before we jump into this workout video where I train legs, I'll run through, and it's it's not too long. I just wanted to show you what my my sessions are at the moment with the, the new programming. Um, yeah, I was just chilling over there. Um, I want to talk about like what I'm doing for nutrition at the moment. Um, if you've been watching some of my stuff uh, on Instagram, you'll know that my calories were super low. Uh, at one point, it was just around, I did like a little 12 week challenge that came within the 8 week challenge that I did with my business, like group training, so that was like an 8 week challenge, I did my own, I started 4 weeks before, um, started off with, um, I started off, calculated my calories, I think it was like 2700, and I just stuck to that for a little bit, ended up cutting it to 2500, then 2100 and then for the last like two or three weeks I actually went all the way down to 1800 calories that was super hard but I got down to 10% body fat so I was pretty happy with that now with that I'm going back to my maintenance calories I put on weight pretty quickly uh, due to obviously my body just was not functioning on such such low calories so um, my body has put on the weight pretty quickly. I'm from 95 back down to, wait, no, from 87 back up to about 95, 96 kilos at the moment. And um, yeah, I feel good. I feel great. Um, I had two weeks completely off, just giving the body a break. Uh, and from there now, I'm going to go back to maintenance calories. Um, see what they are, see how I'm feeling on them, um, and then increase by about 20%. Now, one of the key things that is going to help me out is this buddy. Now, I, I was going between like Fitbit and Apple Watch, I was like looking at reviews on YouTube and I'm like, oh, the battery's not good on the Apple Watch. Um, Fitbit lasts longer, Fitbit's better, all this kind of stuff and I saw some stuff on the Fitbit Ionic because I wanted to get a watch and it, I was saying like, oh it has all the like coaching cues and stuff like that which I wasn't too interested in and then the other day I went into JB Hi-Fi and they had these for half price. It's a Series 2 Nike and I was like, that is a dead set steal so I jumped straight on it, picked up one of these for 250 bucks. And it's epic, guys, and it's going to be one of the key things that I'm going to be using while um, calculating my calories and what I need to be eating because I burn probably, like it's, it's midday at the moment and I've already burnt, what's that, 15, nearly a thousand calories. Now with my scan, my BMR says that I burn around 2200 so straight away, straight away, I have to be eating at least three and a half thousand to remain the same weight that I am now. So what I'm going to do is be eating around four thousand calories, and I'm going to be focusing through that. So like in the morning, having peanut butter, putting peanut butter into my shakes, I'm also having butter, having full cream milk because I enjoy it as well, and um, yeah, doing it that way, guys. So then I'm not so full from all that rice. And I'm also going to be having uh, fattier cuts of steak and stuff like that and cooking in butter. So that could be interesting. It's going to be great food anyway. But that was just a bit of an insight, guys, into what I'm doing with my diet at the moment. If you guys wanted to follow along. And um, yeah, enjoy the workout video. I did train legs this morning. I am still feeling it. From Saturday, I trained legs on Saturday at Definition. It is an epic gym. If you haven't been, go try it. It's in Wollongong. And uh, today I trained legs again. And it was painful, but uh, we got it done. So I hope you guys enjoy. Watch the video. Remember at the end to uh, like, subscribe, give it a thumbs up. And uh, yeah, enjoy the workout. So guys, this is our first, first lift, first exercise of this session. 
Um, it's five sets of five. I'm really trying to work on my explosiveness out of the bottom of my squat, which I find I have a little bit of trouble with. As you can see here, I'm going down nice and slow, still keeping it controlled, holding for about three seconds at the bottom, and then trying to be nice and quick and explosive, moving up out of the bottom of that squat. The weight isn't too heavy here, keeping shoulders back, keeping my core nice and tight, and really just trying to make that bottom uh, section of the squat nice and fast so then when we go back into those heavier lifts they can move a lot better this next exercise guys is an absolute killer and is the bulgarian split squat this is the first time i've actually done it in between the squat rack like this and it worked an absolute treat for keeping my technique nice and tight as you can see my front knee doesn't go actually over my front toe it's my back knee dropping back i'm once again keeping my core nice and tight my shoulders back and this one guys it's three sets of 12 I'm trying to make it nice and efficient with these sessions I'm not wanting to take too long plus we've already done our main lift this is more of a hypertrophy phase of the workout This exercise here is a great one for the guys and girls if you are chasing booty gains. As you can see, JT is being a pain in the ass here. So <laughs> we are doing kickbacks, glute kickback machine. Um, my glutes were kind of killing by this point. Um, kept the weight uh, at about 70%. Going back, really trying to kick upwards and contract those glutes and hamstrings at the top of the movement. We've only been doing this exercise for the last block and then also now this block and we are just really enjoying it. It feels really natural now and it's a great movement for building those glutes and hamstrings. Next exercise up here guys is the lying hamstring curl. Uh, I don't know if you can see there, but I actually went a little bit slower there onto that pad because I can still feel the uh, quad session. I did it definition over the weekend and it was painful even just to lay down. With this one, I don't go quite too heavy. I'm starting to get a bit more comfortable with it, but I've had knee problems before, so I go up, really try and squeeze those hamstrings and then control it on the way down. So guys, this exercise is for ultimate calf growth. Just joking. Guys, most of the time, you're not gonna be able to grow your calves that much. They're pretty genetic. But if you're looking to get them a bit leaner and more muscular looking, then calf raises are definitely something that'll help you out. All right, guys, that's it for this session. I hope you enjoyed some of those exercises and you use them in your own workout. If you are looking for online coaching or personal training, make sure to get in contact with me via my email above. Also, follow my Instagram and Facebook page. Till next time, guys, keep training hard.